bench. I'm going to show you how I take care of updating an APD 120 amp PSC. This is a bit of an update. So on the board, if we look closely, C28 there has been removed. Hot iron, whip it off, get rid of it. When tinning these, I like to go through and fillet them fully from one side to the other. And that way you're binding up all those layers of the circuit board, spreading the power. So what we've got here, I'll put up a circuit diagram, 5 volt RX, TX and ground. And here we've got a CP2210 UART to USB interface. Don't use the wire that comes with them, they're a nightmare. Get some nice silicon. Identify your live. Identify your ground. So I tie a little bob on them up. And then RX and TX. So I've just dabbed these on here. And I'll show how we flash up an APD. Easy. So the interface is on. First one here is 5 volt RX, TX and ground. And here we have the boot pins. What I do is use my tweezers, bridge across, hold, and then plug in the USB. So I'll show you that in a moment. Don't judge me on my soldering. Word of advice, do not concentrate on trying to make a nice job of soldering these on here because the little flitch inside the PDB will come off and then the ESC is ruined. Quick dab, as long as your wires are in contact, do not spend time soldering on there. If you get the edge of that ESC too hot, it secretes a fluid and then once that's burnt onto the copper, soldering is near impossible. You have been warned, don't judge me on this soldering. Speed is of the essence here. Ground is the worst because it wicks the heat away. Any contact is good as long as they don't fall off. Stick it on some plaster saying keep it secure while you're bridging the boat pins. This is the latest flashing tool. Be back in a moment. So what I'm going to do is bridge them two pins with my right hand. And while I'm holding those, jam that plug in. So what you have to do is configure the model. 120 amp communication. And we're going for the latest build. 2.21. 2.2.1 that's what's needed for beta flight 4.3 this is not in bootloader mode because it's flashing so when i bridge the pins and plug in it'll be a dim light i can't do all three at once so i'll be back in a second so we're in bootloader mode now five volt rx tx and ground rx to tx tx to rx make sure you get that right so i bridged the two little tiny little discs i bridged across them held my tweezers on plugged in my usb extension and now we're connected so choose your firmware the newest 2.2.1 com 20 f series 120 and flash erasing programming bootloader and when it's done it'll start flashing there we go the data transfer is finished you may now disconnect So this is to put the latest bootloader on an APD, got a few to do. To enable pass through into the configurator for Betaflight 4.3. I'm 
will show you how small those tabs are on there and how delicate and critical they are. So again, don't judge me on my soldering. All you've got to do is make them stick, get in and out fast. So that was the flashing procedure. But there's your four little UARTs on the side there, look. And because the, the air wicks the heat away, this PCB material leaches out a substance. And once that gets on them contacts, it absolutely will not stick. So as soon as they change colour, get your uh, isobuprofen alcohol out and a white and a toothbrush and get them back to clean like that. So remove C28. Five volt RX, TX and ground. That's now ready for pass through. So here we've got four previously done. Don't worry, my props are loose. I'm not a psychopath. You do one. <laughs> you do not want one of these springing up in your face. So I'm only giving it success. Much like BL Heli. Here's the APD configurator tool. So get off. Com seventeen. Auto connect and then just simply connect. Yeah, props are off. If you're doing APDs, you've got big props. So this is now beta flight 4.3. Passing through. And we're in. So you've got motor drive start up power direction and you can have auto timing or manual timing save all SC ESC settings if you change something so your modes when you flash up select multi-rotor defaults click the following buttons recommend the settings um, but that will reset your ESC if I remember right. So you've got bot, quadrant, rotor, beta, not tried that, don't want to. Uh, water, plane, multi rotor. So you can use them in boats, planes, and so on and so forth. This is your ramp up. So ramp up is percentage of power to milliseconds. And here, ramp down. So you can increase the braking on ramping down. Limits, full bus current, advanced, D-shot baud rate auto, input signal D-shot, telemetry type beta flight telemetry, brake on stop. Now that's there, you do not want to select that. F5B start up, not for us. Auto detect endpoints, and now I've got flash through configured. When there's a new addition, you can select and flash from here, like you would BL Heli. So once you've updated, you're in. So that's it. been getting a bit of a bad rap APD because of changes obviously beta flight have made a lot of changes even TBS have had to roll with the changes when you change 1200 things and um, you know people have got to have time to respond but awesome quality F3s variable PWM by RPM so you know they are bringing it they're a quality component, automotive MOSFETs, not messing about. 120 amp continuous draw, I can't remember if they're 180 or 200 amp burst. Unlike them bad boys there. 
Uh, 200 amp constant, 300 burst, <laughs> crackers. So yeah, that's a quick look into the APDs and what you can do with them. And that procedure, the five volt ground TX to RX, RX to TX is the same on the 80 amps also. They're a little bit more fiddly, but you've been warned, do not absolutely under no circumstances get those little uarts too hot because if that tiny bit of copper separates from that pcb you won't be flashing that esc again um, you can send them back to apd they will repair them or replace them sometimes they'll do it free of charge i did screw one up last year and they changed an 80 amp for me which was good but it's a hassle you can do without so look into the FBDs.